Good afternoon from Your Best Car in Kent. My name's Ben. I'm from one of our two UK branches. We're in Cranbrook, 10 miles outside of Tunbridge Wells, or just a 40 minute train commute from London. Our other site is in Buckinghamshire near Marlow, and combined we have over 600 five star reviews. So please check out our website to see those reviews of our happy customers and of course the rest of our fleet. Before we get into this walk around, I'd just like to answer two of the most frequently asked questions that we get here. And they are, do we take part exchanges and do we offer finance? The answers are both yes and yes, we will take your part exchange. We can even pay off outstanding finance on your current car. Then on top of that, I'm thrilled to say that we are industry beating with our low APR finance rates. So if finance is the route for you, then please get in contact with us or you can visit our website, yourbestcar.co.uk where we have a finance calculator at the bottom of every advert. So whether it's PCP or HP that you're looking for, you can input some numbers, adjust the filters, find something that works for you, and then there'll be a finance breakdown of that contract before you hit apply. So this is the walk around video for our BMW X630D presented in space gray metallic, one of the most popular colorways across all BMW SUVs of this generation. The 30D in a title means it has the three litre diesel engine producing 258 brake horsepower, but also capable of achieving up to 50 miles per gallon. The X drive means it runs off of BMW's all wheel drive system and it's Euro 6 compliant too. The M Sport gives it the best features available from this generation of X6. If I've missed anything, don't worry, everything will be listed in the description. So whilst we're on the exterior, complementing the body paint is this high gloss shadow line trim, which we'll see dotted around, which makes a huge difference in the grand scheme of things. You've got gloss black uh, front grills, window surrounds, mirror caps, roof rails, side vent graphic here on the front quarter, not to mention the rear privacy glass, giving it that stealthy, aggressive look. And then my favorite part down here on the exterior, the upgraded, diamond cut 20 inch uh, light star spoke alloy wheels so let's have a hop inside where well, we've got again a darkened interior theme these are the black dakota leather seats very popular across all of the bmw products these front two seats can be electrically adjusted and heated and then the driver's seat has two memory modes just on the corner there We've got loads of upgrades inside. We've got a head up display. Uh, the driver has a leather wrapped multifunction steering wheel. There's paddle shifters for switching it into your manual mode, multimedia buttons for the iDrive uh, and the digital display, cruise control, hands free buttons, voice control. On the inner door card, you've got one of your speakers for your Harman Kardon upgraded surround sound system. And then up above, your opening sunroof. So let's have a hop inside and go through some of these features. So we've got a wide BMW professional multimedia uh, in-car entertainment system, which we can control by using the buttons down here. So this is our main menu with the sub menus in these square tile uh, formats. So let's go from left to right, media slash radio. Here you've got your DAB radio, FM and AM. You can save your favorite stations. I've connected up my phone earlier, which you might have already seen in the uh, photos in the advert because you've got Apple CarPlay. Wireless Apple CarPlay, that is, uh, feet, well, that is used through Bluetooth. Then you can also connect up uh, Bluetooth, uh, with well, your phone via Bluetooth to play your music. You can use AUX input uh, and USB as well. And then you can also use Bluetooth to connect up your uh, phone book. So you can, stay, you can save your contacts on here. You can make calls, take calls. You can use the buttons on the steering wheel too. So you can keep your phone tucked away uh, without having to you know, look at it whilst driving. Coupled with that feature uh, is this snap-in phone holder here. It's still got its original uh, protective cover. So again, you can keep this underneath the armrest whilst you're driving. Yes, you've got Apple CarPlay, but you've still got satellite navigation built in as standard. One of the perks of the wider screen is that, of course, the map takes up uh, much more room. We can use the dials to zoom in and out. And if we move to the left hand side, we'll have our additional features down here. 
So over to my vehicle, this will just show you various iDrive and vehicle settings. Uh, and then the main thing, the really important feature is the vehicle status. So on the left-hand side, you'll have your tire pressure monitoring system, engine oil level, so you won't need to use a dipstick, your AdBlue level, uh, check control. So you'll get a notification if anything is wrong with the car, if anything is topping up, if there's any service requirements, and you'll also have your saved service history on here too. For example, it will tell you when your next engine oil is due. Uh, it was carried out in February this year, so 2023. Uh, and so the next is due in 2025. For the car to reverse, this is, is a big upgrade. So you've got your usual reverse and camera with sensors, front and rear parking sensors, and your guidelines. So as we turn the wheel, the guidelines will move. But we've also got, if we shift to the left, our various other driver settings. So I've listed all of the permutations in the advert. Uh, so you can see, of course, that rear view camera, but you've got this bird's eye view camera too. This will show you our blind spot junctions, the front and the rear. Again, really handy for bay parking, parallel parking, or uh, maneuvering through traffic. Whoops. Then you can add your obstacle marking, your tow bar zoom, if you decide to fit a tow bar. So if we go back to that rear view camera, click on tow bar, that will change out like so. And if we put the car into drive, we can then change the camera to the front. So you've got a front camera, uh, side cameras, bird's eye view, and rear cameras. Very rare for an X6 of this age to have that, but a big upgrade, nevertheless. Then down here, our climate control, so dual zone for the front, for the, so, uh, so one for the left, one for the right. You've then got your seat heating as well on the left and right there. As I mentioned earlier, your gear stick as well as your uh, controls for the in-car entertainment system and then your various driver select modes. So at the moment, we just keep it in comfort and then you've got Eco Pro and your sport setting too. Up above to operate the sunroof, we've got this button here. We can press that once and that will open up for us. We press it one more time and it will go all the way back. And then one hard press towards the nose of the car will shut it completely. Another hard press towards the nose will collapse the sunblind. So that's the front cabin. Let's have a look at the rest of the car. Oops, let's open up. There we go. So we've got the exact same seat of upholstery back here. The black Dakota leather seats. And of course it is a BMW SUV, so you've got plenty of head room, uh, plenty of headroom and legroom. And you've actually got rear uh, heated outer seats and that is found just down there. You might have already seen that in the photos. An intensity of three for the left and right hand side. Uh, that is part of your cold weather package. I also forgot to mention, part of that cold weather package is you get a heated steering wheel. So if we just look down here, Underneath here, the steering wheel column can be electrically adjusted, but it's also uh, got a heating function too. So heated steering wheel, heated front seats, and heated rear outer seats make up your cold weather package. Onto the rear, our privacy glass extends to the back. We've then got our high gloss shadow line black uh, spoiler. We can open the rear boot like so, we can close it electronically as well and then again big perk of the SUVs on BMWs you've got so much space back here you've got a parcel shelf that can be taken off and then underneath here the fourth floor area used for some additional storage you've got your first aid kit your warning triangle tool kit inflation kit but of course really handy just for some extra space that can be closed like so If you need a little bit more space in the back of your X6, you can do so by collapsing these rear seats. So on the shoulder of either side, you've got a little lever there. That will fold down pretty much flat and give you a really generous amount of space back here. If you're interested in buying the BMW X6, you can give us a call on 01580-712-115 or send us an email to sales at yourbestcar.co.uk. We, uh, we take part exchanges, as I've mentioned at the beginning of the video, and we offer finance packages. So if either of those options intrigue you, then please let us know. Uh, we're all accessible on WhatsApp and iMessage. So if you have any questions about our cars or you need to know some details of your part exchange, then please feel free to message us on those platforms too. Uh, we're happy to talk about cars 
all day. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video and best of luck with your search for a new car.